Today, Algae Barn will demonstrate how to plumb a cage so that you will see how well designed the system is and be able to plumb your own with ease. For the video today, we will be plumbing a Cade 1200 reef. However, this plumbing demonstration will work for all Cade reef and Cade frag models. There is a lot of information to cover, so we will be splitting this into a three-part series. If you have any questions at the end of this, please reach out to our customer support team at support at algaebarn.com or 772-444-7637 and we will be happy to assist you. We will start by plumbing the overflows into the sump. The overflows return water from the display to the sump so that it can be filtered. There is a main and emergency overflow. While you will most likely never need to use the emergency, it is a great feature because it prevents the display tank from overflowing if the main overflow ever gets clogged. To plumb this section, we will first use the main standpipe with the gray collar on top. It is important to note that there are two rubber gaskets on the threads of this pipe. Remove one of the gaskets now and ensure the remaining is pushed all the way up and is flush with the pipe. Place the main standpipe into the hole farthest to the left or outside of the tank. Next, we will connect the bulkhead. Acquire the main overflow bulkhead and the gasket that was just removed. Place the gasket onto the threads of the main overflow sticking through the display and ensure it is flush against the display. There will now be a gasket on either side of the display and these gaskets provide seals to protect from leaks. The main overflow bulkhead is shorter than the emergency overflow bulkhead to make room for the gate valve, thread the bulkhead with your hands until it is snug against the bottom of the display. The best method is to tighten these by hand. Please do not over tighten as you do not want to pinch or crimp the gasket which will allow a means of water to get through. After this is completed, we will connect the overflow to the downpipe into the sump. To do so, connect the main downpipe with the gate valve to the main overflow bulkhead. The gate valve controls the volume of water flowing through it from the display and significantly reduces any noise from water draining into the sump. Silent operation is often overlooked feature on many aquariums, but it is one aquarists will appreciate. Cade includes O-rings at every union on the plumbing to provide watertight seals. We repeat this same process with the emergency standpipe and downpipe directly to the right or towards the center of the main overflow. This is a great feature that you hopefully will never use. If your main overflow were to ever fail somehow, the emergency overflow will prevent the Cade display from overflowing. This ensures all water remains in the display or in the sump. This completes part one of our Cade plumbing series. Once you know all the parts of the Cade, you can see it is very simple to install and is very user friendly. We thank you for choosing Cade and hope you have a ton of satisfaction from a thriving tank. When your aquarium is up and running, please send us media as we love to see the wonderful systems our customers run.